happy Saturday. Uh, today I want to talk with you about the easiest way to get started in private practice on a shoestring budget. Hi, if we haven't met yet, my name is Dr. Brooklyn Storm and I'm a private practice specialist and it's my pleasure to be doing these 90 videos for you. <laughs> I'm not sure what number we're at. I've just got a VA to go and put everything on YouTube for me so she might have to count. <laughs> but okay, here are a few things. First off, um, you want to choose a niche. Why? Um, now some of this you will have heard before and some of it you won't. But the reason that you want to have a niche is because you want to be a specialist. When you're a specialist, you specialize usually in one thing, maybe two things. Um, and yes, you can still see other people for other presenting challenges and issues and things like that. Of course you can, but your marketing really does speak to one person. Okay, when your practice is a specialist practice, it's really easy for us to refer to you and you just grow a lot more quickly than if you be a generalist practice. Okay, as an example of, you know, if I said to you, where would you like to go for dinner tonight? Or what do you feel like eating tonight? You would probably say something like, hmm, I feel like eating, do, 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 and you'd say something. Well, whether you might say Mexican or Indian or Chinese or whatever, Italian, um, that's like a specialty, okay? If I said to you, what's your dream car? Um, maybe you're going to say Ferrari. Maybe you're going to say Mercedes. Maybe you're going to say a Tesla. You know, it doesn't matter. But the point is that that car is a special car. So it's specialist. So we want your practice to be specialist too. Um, that's number one. Number two, get the word out that you're going to start your private practice and that you'll be seeing clients from a certain date before you open up. Okay, don't do it the other way around. It's really important if you want to open up the practice and start seeing clients from day one, the easiest way to do that is to let people know, hey, in 90 days, you know, so let's just say, for example, it's you're going to open for business on the 1st of January, you'd start telling people from the 1st of October, hey, from the 1st of January, I have appointments. I'm looking forward to seeing clients, those kinds of things. And you can take booking in advance, okay? Um, and obviously, you know why to do that. That is so that when you do start, you're making money right from the get-go. So there are two tips, right? The second one is to, on a budget, start by using, oops, my notes. <laughs> My notes are sliding down. Um, start by using free software where you can. Um, for us in Australia, that looks like perhaps starting with something like Halaxy. It's free practice management software. And the reason I recommend that you do it is because, number one, it's really easy to navigate. Number two, makes you look very professional. Number three, it means that you will have an easier time in your practice because Halaxy is a one-stop shop. I'm not affiliated with them, don't worry. One-stop shop meaning you can keep your notes, you can have an online diary that your clients can book into or not, up to you. You can process payments, um, pretty much everything. <laughs> you can do it all there rather than oh i've got to have a zoom account over here and a gmail over there and this over there no just keep it really simple when you're just getting started and for that reason get halaxy if you um, don't like halaxy um, that's okay have a look at some other software there's another one called power diary they often have sales um, you know discounts for first six months and things like that so maybe have a check have a look around see what you like um, but definitely keep it really simple. So get free software. Halaxy is free for um, everything that you need to use. But if you want to use additional features, then you need to pay for them. But I use Halaxy, never paid for it. Been in practice 30 years. I've been using it for about 16. It's fantastic. Okay, the next tip. So I don't know if I want to tip number three or four now. I think I'm up to tip number four is start with telehealth. Why? because you're not going to have to pay for room rent. The last thing that we want is for you to feel committed to, or not to, to feel committed, maybe you are committed and locked into a contract when you've got no clients. So no, we don't want to do that. Um, start by doing online sessions first. The easiest way to do this, of course, is through, you can use something like the practice management software that we were just speaking about, um, or there are other 
things you could use like uh, Zoom, you could use Zoom, things like that. But do it online first. And the, that leads me into my next tip, which is don't quit your day job before the private practice is up and running. That usually takes around six months. It's, it's different from practice to practice, depending on the practice owner and the market and all those kinds of things. But on average, it'll take you about six months. So plan ahead. And I would recommend that you phase one in while you phase the other out. So stay in your day job. And then when you come home, open up one night a week for two hours for, from say six to eight. So you'll see a client at 6 p.m. and a client at 7 p.m. Do that one night a week and a Saturday morning. When those times are filled up, then open up a second evening if you feel confident and you've got the energy to do it. So maybe you go from um, a Monday night and you also now add in a Wednesday or a Thursday night. So then when they get filled up, that'll be six clients, two on the Monday, two on the Wednesday, two on the Saturday. That's six clients. That's enough for you to drop a day of work, right? Um, and so now you're in your private practice and you're seeing six clients, you're more than replacing that day of income that you would normally be getting from your day job. And then same thing, just do a couple of hours, couple of hours, couple of hours like this, build the private practice up as you're scaling the other paid employment down. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, and as I said, give yourself space, like three to six months is probably how long it's gonna take. And then, yeah, I think that's it. The other thing that I wanted to say is um, I'm running a free private practice workshop and you're also most welcome to come along to that if you like. That's for everybody. You don't have to be a psychologist or a counsellor or a social worker. You've got speech therapists and occupational therapists and nutritionists and dietitians and Reiki people, yoga people, Pilates people. All the people are welcome. You're welcome too. Um, I will do a little video tomorrow on what's included in the private practice workshop and I'll pop a link in the comments for you today. But I hope that you have a really lovely weekend. Thank you for watching my video. Um, maybe re-watch it and take a note of the tips because I think there were like five or six in there that will be really super helpful for you. And of course, if you need anything at all, don't hesitate to let me know. I'm always available for um, helping you and supporting you, even if it's in the comments, so drop it below. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.